this campus is sitting on uh, a beautiful piece of Connecticut River riverfront, and it is just uh, just magnificent. But it didn't start this way. When I first came here, people in the state said that in a very heavy rain, you could actually see a sheen from the oil coming out of the property onto the Connecticut River. We knew we had a property that had issues. One of the initial steps was we need to identify how contaminated the sites were, how much money it was going to take to clean up, and identify other financing to construct the first phase of the master plan, which was our Riverfront Campus Academic Center. The first funding source we identified was the EPA Brownfields funding. I knew through my experience that the EPA funds were there at the beginning of a project to help assess the environmental contamination on the site, but also to help you clean it up. Using the EPA funds and finding out exactly what the issues were, you were able to get it to a point where it was a lot less scary to deal with. It became very clear to us that this was a project we could actually complete. And if you stopped and looked at this property, not in the way it was, but in the way it could possibly be, you finally saw it as this incredible resource. Through our program, we were able to provide money to conduct phase one, phase two, and phase three environmental site assessments. It was very hard to envision what could be here, but one thing um, that is very unique about this parcel is it's on the banks of the Connecticut River. And so if they were able to clean it up, it would be a way that people would actually be brought back to the river. The uh, cleanup that we did was a combination of source removal, uh, meaning removal tanks, underground lines, uh, saturated soils, and so in those areas we were able to remove that um, to soil disposal and recycling facilities. Um, other areas of the site we used uh, uh, what are called in situ or in place technologies, which allows the microbes that inhabit the soil naturally to degrade the remaining contamination. So we not only were able to use EPA funds uh, towards a lot of the cleanup, but the fact that we had EPA involved and monitoring what we were doing actually made us more credible to even local funders. And the combination of all that finally got the banks open to giving us lending necessary to actually build the buildings that we started to build. Since then to now in the next couple of years, we have already set aside, already received almost $150 million in development on this campus and in the surrounding area. $150 million from that initial seed. All of that is in question if the Brownfields program wasn't there up front to help us get just from A to B. We were able to take it the rest of the way, but it wouldn't have happened at all without the Brownfields program. They say that without flowers, there is no hope. I believe that Goodwin College is the flower of East Hartford and the expansion of economic development that we see happening. It's like when one neighbor takes care of the yard, it just goes threefold. Our community has had a significant shot in the arm and a shot of vitality. Goodwin College actually gave us back our riverfront.